three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of NASA's New Horizons spacecraft on a decade-long voyage to visit the planet Pluto and then beyond. Pluto, formerly thought to be our solar system's ninth planet, has remained an intriguing celestial object since the historic encounter of the New Horizons probe in 2015. The dwarf planet's secrets have continued to be revealed, and discoveries by the James Webb Space Telescope have added another exciting layer to its puzzle. For reference, the JWST is the most giant optical telescope in orbit. It's equipped with high-resolution and high-sensitivity equipment, enabling it to see objects that the Hubble Orbit Telescope cannot see, because they are too ancient, far or dim. This permits research in many domains of astronomy and cosmology, including the detection of the earliest stars, the birth of the first galaxies, and thorough atmospheric characterization of possibly habitable exoplanets. The telescope captured a gigantic structure reaching about one mile over Pluto's frozen plains, using its upgraded imaging capabilities and greater sensitivity. Astronomers have been taken aback by the finding, which calls into question earlier ideas about the geological processes of the distant Earth. The discovered structure, distinguished by its elongated form, raises questions concerning its origin and composition. Initial research points to a massive ice structure, or an elaborate network of canyons cut into Pluto's surface. However, the precise nature of this attractive trait remains to be discovered due to the need for further observations and data analysis. The capacity of the James Webb Telescope to view infrared wavelengths was critical in this revolutionary finding. The telescope has provided crucial insights into the composition and geology of Pluto by identifying the heat signature radiated by various objects and materials. Webb's primary mirror comprises 18 hexagonal mirror segments constructed of gold-plated beryllium, which together form a 21-foot mirror compared to Hubble's 7-foot 10-inch mirror. This offers Webb a light-collecting area of around 25 square meters, approximately six times that of Hubble. Unlike Hubble, who observes in the near-ultraviolet and visible and near-infrared spectra, Webb sees in the long wavelength visible light to the mid-infrared. Its proportions, form, and movement patterns will be thoroughly scrutinized to solve the riddles of Pluto's dynamic surface and obtain insight into its geological past. Scientists eagerly await additional observations and data from the James Webb Telescope to provide more insight into the nature of this fantastic structure. The discovery of such a massive structure emphasizes the need for ongoing research and scientific advances in comprehending the depths of our solar system. With its extraordinary capabilities, the James Webb Telescope continues to push the limits of astronomical science, revealing the secrets of distant celestial bodies and advancing our knowledge of the universe. According to astronomers, Pluto is thought to have a rocky core outside of it. However, deep in the interior, there's probably an ocean of water surrounded by another layer of frozen ice. The surface crust comprises a layer of different ice, predominantly nitrogen ice with massive mountains of water and traces of methane and carbon monoxide ice. Pluto's atmosphere, like its crust, comprises nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. It also contains haze particles, which scatter blue light. These particles begin as ionized methane and nitrogen in Pluto's atmosphere. As the ions interact with one another, they form increasingly complex molecules and begin to form an outer shell of volatile ice. As the haze particles grow in size, they begin to tumble through the sky, accumulating additional ice. This snow is a reddish-gray that falls on Pluto's surface. Pluto's surface is similarly coated in methane ice, but New Horizons scientists saw significant changes in how the ice reflects light across the dwarf planet's surface. The dwarf planet also has ice-ridge topography that resembles snake skin. Scientists discovered structures akin to Earth's penitentes or erosion-formed patterns on rocky terrain. The surface of Pluto is one of the coldest locations in the solar system. Temperatures may dip to negative 375 to negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit in this area. When compared to previous photographs, Hubble Space Telescope's scans of Pluto indicated that the dwarf planet has reportedly become redder over time, owing to seasonal fluctuations. Other differences in the composition of Pluto's surface elements have been discovered inside the heart of the planet. A massive heart-shaped patch on Pluto's surface is known informally as Tombau Rigo. The left half of the region, which resembles an ice cream cone, is coated with carbon monoxide ice. 
The New Horizons crew informally names a remarkably smooth area in the centre-left of Tombaugh Regio as Sputnik Planum, after Earth's first artificial satellite, Sputnik. This portion of Pluto's surface lacks craters generated by meteorite impacts, indicating that it is pretty young, geologically little more than 100 million years old. Likely, geologic processes are still shaping and changing this area. These frozen plains also include a few kilometers of black streaks that run in the same direction. The lines might be caused by severe winds sweeping over the dwarf planet's surface. When Pluto gets closer to the Sun, its surface ice melts, forming a thin atmosphere mostly of nitrogen with some methane. Pluto's low gravity, around 1 20th that of Earth, enables its atmosphere to stretch far higher than Earth's. Most of Pluto's atmosphere is predicted to freeze and all but evaporate as it travels farther away from the Sun. While Pluto's atmosphere is too thin for liquids to flow now, they may have sailed over its surface in the past. Nevertheless, when Pluto has an atmosphere, it may allegedly endure powerful winds. The brightness of the atmosphere also varies, which might be explained by gravity waves or air moving across mountains. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope also discovered evidence that Pluto's crust may contain complex chemical compounds. Pluto may have or may have had an underground ocean. Although the evidence still needs to be conclusive, if the subterranean ocean existed, it might have significantly impacted Pluto's history. Scientists discovered, for example, that the zone of Sputnik Planitia altered Pluto's direction owing to the quantity of ice in the region, which was so dense that it influenced Pluto overall. New Horizons assessed the ice to be around 6 miles thick. The researchers emphasized that a subterranean ocean best explains the findings. However, in less plausible scenarios, a thicker ice sheet or changes in the rock might be to blame. Some scientists believe Pluto might support life if it had a liquid ocean and adequate energy. Scientists continue to study Pluto to enhance our understanding of this dwarf planet and its unique characteristics. Ongoing investigations involve analyzing data previously gathered by the New Horizons spacecraft, which conducted a flyby of Pluto in 2015, and Hubble. These studies aim to unravel Pluto's geological features, atmosphere, and interactions with its moons. Researchers also seek to gain insights into the origin and evolution of Pluto and its place within the more extensive solar system. The exploration of Pluto contributes to our broader knowledge of planetary science and helps refine our understanding of the solar system's outer regions. The James Webb Telescope, known for its revolutionary findings, is set to offer more astounding insights as scientists probe further into the details of this newly discovered structure on Pluto's surface. Each discovery takes us closer to understanding the dynamic nature of our cosmos and piques our interest in venturing farther into the unknown. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thank you for watching.